Remember as you watch this, this crime was committed by teenagers, is senseless and by any reasonable standard unprovoked. But it is also an all too familiar scene among segments of today's youth. We warn you, some of what you will see is quite graphic. And he walks into this El Monte pool hole with a swagger. He feels good here. It is a hangout for his gang, the Asian boys. And he has a 45 caliber pistol tucked under his checkered shirt. His real name is Lay Mech, an 18-year-old Cambodian refugee with a history of weapons and violence. What he doesn't know as he stands here talking to some girlfriends is it will be his last night alive. A short time later, about 20 members of a rival gang called Wa Ching come through the door at the upper left of your TV screen. Among them, Kicker's alleged executioner. Police identify him as 18-year-old Chu Luang Yang, an Upland High School dropout who refers to himself as China Dog. You see him here wearing the white T-shirt. And according to police reports obtained by Fox News, the watching gangsters were upset because the Asian boys were mad-dogging them, staring at them. Witnesses say at one point there is an argument between Kicker, seen here on the left, and rival watching gang member Chris Ha. Ha says he and his friends started leaving after Kicker flashed the 45 kept at his belt. At this point, police records indicate one of the Wachi gangsters said, let's go, don't worry about it, I'll take care of it, I'll put a bullet in his head for you. More words were exchanged while watching backed out, one pointing at Kicker in apparent anger. Kicker paces, seems to say something in return and rubs his hands together. A short time later, Kicker, police say still working his mouth, passes in front of several watching gangsters who have not yet left. When he turns his back, China Dog grabs him and throws him to the floor. As they drag him toward the door, a half dozen Asian boys, some with pool cues, try to stop the watching attack. There is no audio on the surveillance tape, but witnesses say the room was filled with screaming and yelling. An Asian boy nicknamed Mousy even grabs a 32 caliber pistol off a nearby pool table but it jams when he comes back and tries to fire at rival Wa Ching. Investigators believe Kicker's gun was taken from him during this struggle. About the same time, the first gunman pops through the door and fires wildly into the crowded pool hall. This teenager, who does not want to be identified, is one of five survivors hit by gunfire. The bullet went, went from my head, but I could hear the wind, and then suddenly I feel my leg Shot. Then, as Wa Ching coolly dragged Kicker outside, a second gunman steps through the door and starts firing. Police say it is China Dog Yang. Kicker reappears with a body tackle, but can't hold on. Gets five shots in his body while scrambling for cover. Then two fatal slugs in the head at close range. It was really scary. I thought, like, they, they won't stop, you know. I was like, what am I doing here, you know? I, you know, I, I'm not one of them when I got shot, you know? Officer Greg Carroll was one of the first here on the scene. A real chaotic scene. But as you walked in, you could still smell the, the gun powder, the gun smoke still in the air. Bystanders and victims still hiding behind pool tables. The place silent with fear. Veteran investigators who would later see this surveillance tape Call it one of the most cold-blooded, vicious murders they've ever seen. Remember um, I got in a little trouble, and um, I went on a run. I was on a run for about a year and a half or so. And then um, that's when, unfortunately, I committed my life crime. Mm -hmm. I was into prison for mm -hmm. and I ended up in a life sentence for that, for that crime. And you know, that's a day that uh, I'll always regret yeah. the rest of my life. Yeah. I did something that is uh, it's unforgivable. You know, I, I, I took life. Mm -hmm. um, and God, God created life, yeah. you know. And I did something that I dishonored him. Well, first and foremost, I dishonored him, the creator of life, 
you know, and I had no right to to do that. You know, and so um, I think it was in nineteen ninety four. I got I got arrested. Yeah. <coughs> Went to the county, spent about two and a half years fighting my my case there. And uh, um, eventually would take it to trial, and uh, they found found me guilty. Yeah. Of course, you know, like I was I was guilty. Yeah. I'm, I'm <coughs> responsible for everything I did. And so I got sentenced to forty three life. Wow. And uh, what was I, your original parole date, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, um, geez, when at that time, yeah, it was 2034. I would that would be my first um, opportunity to go to the board. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> and honestly, I never, even, I didn't even think about it. Yeah, um, at that time, um, were after you going to prison? Were you prepared to die in prison? Is that what you're saying? When you weren't, when you were prepared for it? Um, I think I didn't even think about the future because I didn't vision me being having a future right right it was just uh wow. that was my world yeah uh, that prison inside those, those uh, concrete walls those yeah. barbed wire fences yeah. that became my world and my reality yeah 